my dear student welcome to all in my classes i hope you are well by the grace of allah and also hope that you are ready to enjoy my class listen to my class attentively today's lesson tense you have learned about tense some uh, in the lower classes 6 and 7 i again want to discuss about tense outcome of learning learning outcomes are learning outcomes at the end of the lesson students will be able to identify three types of verbs apply the three types of verbs in sentences know about the structure of different sentences write and speak on sentences I will try to focus all these objectives in sentences. We know that 
टेंस द डिफिनेशन ऑफ टेंस टाइम ऑफ बाग इज कॉल्ड टेंस बट भाग आर थ्री टाइप्स देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बाग लाइक Three types of bar. One is B bar. A is R was square. This is B bar. These are B bar and H bar is H H and H. These are H bar and D bar or action bar. D bar or action bar is go, come, eat, read, catch, bring. It is. These are the action verb or do verb. There are three kinds of verbs. Based on uh, meaning, there are three types of verbs. I want to show uh, uh, the use of these three kinds or three types of verbs. Firstly, follow the, the three sentences. One, two, three. First sentence. He is a good boy. He is a good boy. Here is is B bar. He has some books. He has some books. Has is H bar. Three. He goes to school every day. Both and huh? the do bar for action bar. I will discuss about. Present tense for B bar in defined sentences.
follow the four four sentences number 1 you are you are a student at is b bar in affirmative sentences in affirmative sentence you are not a student at b bar at not is b bar uh, in uh, negative negative sentences uh, are you a student here yeah, b bar in interrogative sentences here yeah, are and not used uh, together in negative interrogative sentences there is affirmative number 2 is negative number 3 is interrogative and number 4 is negative interrogative this is present present tense now i will discuss about past tense as like before here are the four sentences number 1 you are a student this is b bar in past tense and affirmative sentences you are we are not not a student we are is b bar in negative sentences in the past tense uh, where are you a student where is b bar in past tense in interrogative sentences and where not here the be bar uh, used in negative interrogative sentences in the past tense noticeable matter is that here where before subject not after subject if the subject is pronoun if the subject is pronoun uh be bar will be before subject and not will be after uh, subject but if the subject is noun we have to write not before the subject that means why are be bar plus not together be bar plus not together before subject if the subject is noun like why are not why are not kamal A student, why are be bar plus not before subject because subject is noun here. Uh, we can also use it contraction.
point point comma a student if is contraction the subject uh, may be pronoun or noun contraction will be before subject now few seconds I follow the four sentences in few seconds he will be a student we we be bar here takes be bar here takes a auxiliary verb will if uh, he will be a student he will not be a student negative sentence will he be a student in interrogative sentences and will he not be a student negative interrogative sentences uh, here noticeable matter is here that the two verbs an auxiliary and be verbs if there is two verbs only negative in negative sentences not will be placed uh, we in the middle of we and be not will be at uh, middle of the we and be in this way uh, in interrogative sentences only we come before subject but be uh, after the subject negative interrogative in negative interrogative sentences only will will come before subject not will be after subject we can use not before subject in this way in contraction Next class. Uh, goodbye.